Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, realillusionforum.com. Uh, we're going to bring over a set from Daz into iClone, but we're going to use a Character Creator Transformer. We've talked about this in the past as to why we do this, uh, but I want to click with somebody real quick because this is the easiest way by far to get all the textures and everything we need from Daz into iClone. So here we have a set called The Outpost. I just drug over the basic set into here. The first thing we have to do before we... Uh, uh, send it to character creator is we have to have some kind of Genesis figure in this scene. And the best one to use for that kind of purpose is just the basic Genesis figure. So I'm dragging the basic Genesis figure over. The reason that that's good is that that particular uh, character is very low res and, and very um, doesn't take up a lot of resources to when we drag it back over into uh, iClone and, and character creator. So we do that. Okay, go there. Then we're going to export it. Export, and we'll just call it uh, Outpost. If I can type. By the way, I'm, some of you guys are making comments on my uh, videos, and I'm not being able to respond to them. So if you don't get a response from me, I always respond to everybody's comments that I can. Uh, I don't, and even if all I say is, I don't know what to tell you. So if you're not getting a response from me, that's because I can't see your comments. So either make another comment or email me at mike at kellytown.com. K-E-L-L-E-Y town.com. Okay, so we've exported that. So now if we go into Character Creator, we're going to go into Transformer. And because we used a regular Genesis character, we're going to use the CC3 one. Remember, the CC3 plus one is only for Genesis uh, 3 and 8 characters. So now we're going to import this. And uh, remember, we have a set and we have the whole Genesis character. The reason we're doing it this way, again, let me emphasize that again, is that because this way it's going to bring all of the textures over properly. Just drag, and we always choose advanced. Always, always, always choose advanced. Never a time not to choose advanced. And then it will come up and tell us what things it's going to bring over. It won't take too long because, again, the Genesis care, we don't want to bake the body texture. The only time we ever do this is if we actually want to get the textures that are coming from the avatar from Daz. So most of the time we don't do that, like for clothing or hair or for sets or something, we don't bake the body texture. But if we're bringing over an avatar specifically, we want that avatar, that character, then we want to bake the body texture. These are all accessories. That's fine. Say okay. And you can bring them in whatever level detail. The default is uh, 1K, but uh, I generally 1K is plenty of texture for most sets. Um, but that's up to you and your resources and your memory and what you're trying to do. And as this comes over, you notice it's resizing. And what it's, what it's doing specifically is it's actually going into Daz in the uh, textures and finding where they all exist and how they match up. Uh, I actually was part of writing that code for that. I'm kind of a little proud of that. So, uh, so that works pretty good. Most of the time, it finds all the textures it needs. Every now and then it doesn't. I think we've talked about that in the past as to those times when it doesn't. But most of the time, it works just fine. So, And as always, if you have any problems, just write me or alert me or send me a message, and I'll be glad to deal with a specific prop or clothing item or piece of hair. Okay, so now we have the whole thing. We have the character. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to send that whole project to iClone. Send the character to iClone. That's what we're going to do. And what that does is the, the set is attached to that character. So when we come into iClone, what's happening is it's bringing over that character, but it's also bringing over the set. And you can do this with vehicles, with any sort of thing that's, that's in Daz that you want to bring over in iClone. So now we have it in here. Well, first thing we're going to do is go to the scene, and we're going to detach that. So we don't want these, these items to be attached to the character anymore, because we're going to get rid of the character. So we're going to go ahead and modify, and we're going to detach them. See, detach. They're attached to the hip of that character. We're going to detach them. And now in the scene, we can go ahead and delete the character. And so now we have the set. And we're going to do a few more things to the set to make it look better. So this is just general uh, mechanics here. One of the things that we're going to do for sure is go in and adjust the lighting. We always want to take out the default lights in uh, iClone and go ahead to visual. Actually, we'll go ahead and we'll create uh, a light. We'll create a directional light because it's an outdoor scene. Generally, you want to have a, a directional light in an outdoor scene. We might adjust it a little bit. You can put it any way you want basically but we'll uh we'll bring it around here a little bit line it up that's pretty good 
Okay. And then we're going to go ahead in the visual, and we're going to go in the shadows. I always bump my shadows up. A little stronger shadows. Go into this. Probably get... I want to show you what I'm doing. <laughs> Not to go too quick. This is the image-based lighting. This is the lighting that sets the lighting for the general outside scenes or inside scenes. So first thing we want to do is maybe pick a some other kind of image that matches this uh, terrain a little bit better. This is an alien sky I happen to have. So bring that in. I'm going to turn on so we can see the alien sky. One thing I want you to notice is that, see that dome? It's it's too small. So first thing we're going to do after after I adjust the blur off of this is make that dome a lot bigger. So we'll go and make it about uh, 250, somewhere in that neighborhood. Okay, so now we got an alien sky that actually that actually works in this scene. And uh, the other thing we want to do, if we're using, and I always like to use this, um, uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> I'll get it eventually, global illumination. So we want to change the anchor settings and adjust it so it's big enough to cover our entire scene. Okay, we got that, so that's fine. Uh, I, I, I don't see that, that's good. We go into the anchor settings and we adjust the bounce strength of the illumination. So we get a little bit of fill light in some of those details. And then the last thing we might want to do is adjust our light itself, the directional light, because this is a green sky, green sun perhaps, so we might want to have it be a little green. So you might want to go something like that or something. And you can adjust that and do, do something different. So anyway, that's, that's basically our, our alien scene for this outpost. Now the reason we did it this way, again, if I select the outpost, I want to show you something. The textures that came in, we got metallic, and roughness and bump and base color. If you do this any other way, you're not gonna get all these textures. So uh, it, it would be a pain in the ass to have to go in and put all these textures in. This way, it's just a lot easier to uh, to do. So there you go, that's, that's our alien outpost. T didn't take very long and we're all set. So hopefully that, that gives you an idea on some things you can do to uh, in your own scenes to bring over almost any DAS set uh, will work just fine in this weapon. So, talk to you later.